Hey, it's Steffi J. I'm here to show you some things I picked up while I was at the Dollar Tree. And it's not my usual Dollar Tree run. Um, I went out of town today to have a procedure done. And while I was there, I stopped at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you what I got. So I found these. Um, these are so cool. They're balloon holders. You put them in your yard. And you... So the stick goes in the ground and then you have this piece that goes around the balloon and it does four balloons and I'm doing uh, my little one she's not gonna be so little she can be 11 I'm doing her birthday and um, confetti everything is themed like confetti um, so I'm going to do a whole bunch of polka dot balloons and stuff so I picked up two of those that way I could do around eight balloons and then um, I know that these are reusable I bet you you could put glow sticks inside the balloons and use them if you were having a, a party. But <laughs> since they're reusable, I'll make sure I get them before the kids all run off with them. I'll just take the balloons out. I picked up a pair of pantyhose, but not for the reason that you think. I don't wear pantyhose anymore. We used to have to wear them to church every Sunday. My mom was like, you got your pantyhose on? And you're slip, and it's like, oh, I'm so glad those days are over. Not that going to church and all that is over, but the pantyhose wearing is over. I hate pantyhose. So what you do is you take your pantyhose, and I'll show you with her leg. You're going to cut off to about where the knee is here. If you want, you can cut all the way up if you don't want to waste any. But about to the knee, you only need one leg. You could use the other pantyhose if you had the suntan color. This one's beige, so I don't know what it would look like. But you can make those... Um, Oh, they used to make those, like, little old lady-looking things out of pantyhose. There's some crafts you can make out of pantyhose. They're really cute. But what I do is I put in the foot part, I will put a bar of soap. And then I tie this around, like, your laundry detergent jug that has the spout. Um, tie the soap on the handle, and it's a wash station. Um, we made those in Girl Scouts. I also use those for camping so that the kids don't get into the one that's for drinking water. I picked up this three pack of masks because um, I don't, I know I'm going to get some comments on this. So that's probably not going to be good comments. Um, where I live at, you don't have to wear a mask anymore. It's not mandatory unless it's a business that you have to put it on. Like we've been in a couple places like GameStop, um, they still require a mask. But Walmart does not anymore. Um, there are some places that you don't have to wear them. I think Hobby Lobby's eased up on it as well. But um, in the city at the Dollar Tree where I was at, the masks are required. It even keeps announcing over the intercom. I forgot to get mine out of the car. So I just bought this really cute plaid looking one. And it was a three pack. And I thought how cute. And I'll just give them to my girls. Because our doctor has advised us to stop using the ones that you... Um, can wash and wear and start using the disposables. So, um, I bought out of masks and I bought like a hundred and something masks from Aldi. So, um, I got, I picked this up and I put one on, um, to go into that for that store. I actually had a mask on me that I got in my Betty's box of blessings that I wore to the doctor. And that's enough about me. Well, that's nonsense. I picked up these shower fizzes. I actually like the, um, lavender ones they're kind of relaxing but this is the eucalyptus experiment and it smells really good so i'm going to try these shower fizzes see what they're like um i got this pain relief balm ultra strength i don't know if any of you guys have ever tried it or not if it's any good but my husband has pulled something so i was going to try this because the rest of the muscle rubs are not working I got two of these. I, they all, everyone in our house has preferred toothpaste and Pressed Pro, Pre, la, 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 Crest Pro Health, um, is one that my husband, my husband uses, it's crazy hair, and then my daughter uses a Press Pro Health, Pro Health that has a whitener in it, and then uh, Madison uses a. Uh, Jaden used Press Pro, Pro, Crest Pro Health, 
with a whitener. Madison uses the crust with scope. I use close up, so we all use different toothpaste. But today I found the Crest Pro <sighs> Health with the Proactive Defense. It features the, it's got the, um, the future proof, the whole mouth. So it does have the active whitening, but it's got the shield on it here. It's supposed to, um, do your whole mouth, which is a good thing. Did you know that heart attacks, some, some people's heart attacks are from their mouth? Because they don't have proper dinner, dental care. You brush your gums, your tongue, everything. You clean all that. Then follow it with some dang Listerine. Because some of you are foul. Um, I picked up another one of these. I'm doing a, um, a... I'm remodeling my house. And I'm doing a coffee caddy. And hot cocoa caddy. So I needed one of these to put over there. I am so sad. I have been told by several people that they're trying to get rid of Dr. Seuss, and that just breaks my heart. So, I picked up this Dr. Seuss 24-piece puzzle. This is the green eggs and ham. <coughs> this one is the um, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And then, my other puzzle is missing. It's in this house somewhere. Um, I also have Horton Here's a Hoop, because there's three of them. So, I picked those up, because if they're going to take away my Dr. Seuss, I at least want some of it. I got these, which I know you've all seen these. Um, I got these to label some baskets that I'm redoing my cabinets with. And then I picked up the white chalk marker for my labels. And then I picked up these. I really like this. This too. Okay, so this is by Ink. And it's dual, dual fi fix. It's two colors in one. 3D effects. Perfect for doodling. So each pen, like the one, one of them is blue and green, and one of them is orange and looks like purple in this pack. In this one, there's purple and green and red and blue. So, yeah. Anyways, I picked up two of those because I want to see what the 3D writing looks like. Um, I picked up some batteries because I needed them for my blood pressure cuff. It also does plug into the wall, but I put the batteries in. I got these hearts that are the chalkboard kind and another pack of those and another pack of hearts. And then I bought these blue baskets with the handle. I'm going to decorate the shelves in my bathroom with. This here is some more of the stuff that I got for uh, Maddie's birthday party. I got the confetti plates. And I picked up the cups. I picked up two, two of them. There's actually six in a pack. There's only four in a pack on the plates. And then I picked up two packs of the polka dotted um, balloons that I'm going to use with that. And then stuff. Today I was so excited when I seen this. So I got um, the rocks. I got these today. I'm redoing my bathroom, and I really like the way the, the stones look because my bathroom's done in um, like a nautical theme. <coughs> and I wanted to use this um, be on the wall behind the sink so it's not that wide. So I'll be able to cut this probably in half. And I got two of these, and I wish I would have got more but I never run into the stone stone one and then I did find the iron-ons I am in love with this the iron-on tiger is one of my favorites I actually picked up um I think I picked up two I'm not sure if I could. anyways I got the tiger um we'll be going to Disney and um I think I'm going to change up my shirts and I'm going to wear this to Animal Kingdom and put some writing with it. I just love it. And I got the butterfly. Super cute, I think. And then there's the heart one. They did have a big leaf, but it wasn't my wasn't my thing. I just ain't into it. And then uh, my mom grabbed um, a pack of these 
uh, stickers and it's got surfing and surfboards and summer and red, white, and blue bikini and all kinds of beach stuff that I'm going to probably put on my flip flops and my wreath. <sighs> I hauled these um, a little bit back. The plastic straws with the writing on them. This one says hot mess, diva, flirt, and drama queen. And then this one here says chug, gulp, sip, and slurp. They're the plastic straws with the little writing on them. I thought these would be cute um, to use with Maddie's party. And then I have the um, basket with the holes in it. And then I bought the red and blue um, solo cups to put inside that basket. That way I have um, everything I'm going to need for my coffee and um, hot cocoa uh Patty over there, and then I've ordered me some um, some dispensers for different things that you just crank and and use. So that is all that I got in this Dollar Tree haul, and I picked up. I thought I had it sitting right next to me, but I did not. Mines. Oh, wake up! Sorry about that. I was not ready. I should have been. Okay. They have their books in. They have their books in. I picked up this one. This is Michelangelo. And it has some really, really good uh, paintings. His paintings are in there. And I really enjoy art. I'm getting ready to take my kids up to the art museum again. And the um, history museum. It's just so cute. And then I picked up uh, Mysteries of the Bible. And this one has a lot of problems with me. And uh, don't need no hating, just saying. It's not my way. But like, um, chapter one is all on the Da Vinci Code. I'm not a fan of the Da Vinci Code. Um, some of y'all might be, but I am not. And the first thing it wants to talk about was Mary Magdalene married to Jesus. Right there, off topic. Don't want to hear about it. I'm done. So, um, I skipped on over to chapter 2. And, um, it, it's, it's on creation. So, I don't know. I need to look a, more, a little more into it. I'll probably pass it on to a couple people I know. I'm not really a fan of anything with the Da Vinci Code. I picked up this um, pretty intense book. This is um, the 90 day mind, body, and food plan that will absolutely change your life. This is Dan Danica. <laughs> Danica Patrick. She is my daughter's favorite NASCAR driver. She no longer drives for NASCAR. But as you're doing her book, she has worksheets for you throughout the book. And um, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Some of the things that she has in here interest, interested me. Um, this here is Times. It's Visions of Heaven. A Journey Through the Afterlife. Uh, I don't know about this one yet. But it does have some really amazing um, photos that I like. So I'm trying to figure out <coughs> if this book's okay or not okay. I kind of need to read it and... You know, check it. Check some of the facts with my Bible and see about it. Because I'm really not sure. And then this one here is Secret Places. This one is so pretty. I, like, this is Jericho. Right there, that's Jericho. Um, this is Dan. There is some really, there's a temple the temple in Jerusalem. Um, there's Bethlehem. There's a lot in here. Um, Mount of Olives. There's a lot of really neat things to look at in here. And I. I just think it's pretty. I, I really do. Like, I was looking at the Jordan River. This picture of the Jordan River. And a lot of people say that. You know. Oh the Jordan River wasn't deep. Very deep at all. Um. We do know that Jesus was submerged, but some people say that, you know, it wasn't deep enough. But look at that picture. It looks 
fairly deep to me. But anyways, enough religious talk because some of you don't hear it. I get it. But that is my haul. Um, I'm just now looking behind me. Um, okay, so this here, <laughs> this is a de-choker. I bought this on Amazon. It is expensive. Um, it's 40, about $48. And, um, all the steps to using it are right here. It has literally saved more lives than the Heimlich. But you put this over the um, nose and mouth. This piece lays on top of the tongue. You hold it down like this with your hand on their face, pushing pressure. And then you pull up the plunger and then move it. If it doesn't come out the first time, do it again. You can repeat steps three times. Um, when you start to use the de-choker, the first thing you do is call 911. Then start using the de-choker. The only problem that I can see is from what I've learned, um, the things I've learned medically, is the fact that you have to lay them down. So I'm not sure. But it's there's a lot of people that say it's saved a lot of lives. And then this here... My mom bought me today after I had my procedure done. We stopped at the Cracker Barrel. It says, no crabby attitudes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put him on my door. I'm redoing my porch all in uh, nautical. Not ocean. It's like nautical. So, yeah, Mr. Krabby's going on my door. So, anyways, um, that's my Dollar Tree haul. And, I uh, hope you all liked it. I got... The only thing I have left to show you is just some water flavors. And that's about the most of it. They've got the Tampico. Um, they only have this in the city. This is the Mango Punch Tampico. My dad calls it Tampico. And then this is a Citrus Punch uh, Tampico. There's zero sugar. And I'm telling you what, Tampico is amazing. I love the taste of it. Then when I was leaving, I ran into the Country Time Lemonade and the Country Time Pink Lemonade. My uh, daughter's a fan of the Pink Lemonade. And uh, Madison, um, she likes to add half lemonade, half tea. I swear these kids are, should be in the South. But I bought two I bought two of each flavor. And I bought, I bought three of the mango. And then I bought a case of the... Um, I bought a case of these Sunkiss. They're 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Um, no aspartame. I don't want aspartame. Zero sugar, and it's the orange, peach, and mango. And there's six in a pack, and their servings on the go. I thought these would be really good for the pandemic. And I was watching on the news today um, when they went live on Facebook. Our actual news went live. And they're saying that the pandemic is not gone. It's getting worse. People are getting really sick, and uh, it's getting ready to hit our area again. So, I'm going to boost up our vitamin C, and I also have the um, packs of um, liquid IV that I use as well. At least once a week, I give everybody a liquid IV. <coughs> so, anyways, um, that's my whole haul. I have nothing left yet. I'll show you some more stuff on my next haul, which will probably be tomorrow. So, from our family to yours, God bless you, and hope you have a great night.